Okay, we're back. Sandbag press out. So we did the dead bug and bird dog. Both of those practice in the horizontal plane, whether you're face up or face down. Now we're gonna work the core in a vertical plane. So we're doing a vertical plank while we're gonna exercise with the sandbag, okay? This is gonna be a tall kneeling position with both knees on the floor. Make sure with the feet that you dorsiflex the ankle. So I'm gonna show you what the footwork looks like as well. It's very important to drive your feet through the floor to help stay in that vertical plank. Breathing is really important. As you press the bag out, that's when you wanna exhale. As you pull the bag in, or before you even start the first rep, you want to inhale. So it's a nose, inhale, mouth, exhale. This will be the speed you're going to work at. Okay, so to help keep my hips in that extended position, my glutes have to be very, very tight. That's posterior chain strength. Anterior part is abdominal muscles. I'm squeezing the bag as tight as I can to help create, create some radiation from wrist, elbow, and shoulder. And again, I'm exhaling as I push out, inhaling on the way in. The speed is slow to create time under tension and to help maintain position. As I bring the bag towards my body, even though I'm moving slowly, I'm pulling the bag back as hard as I can. And again, I couple that by pressing it out. So that is that pull and that push with each rep. The bag is about 22 pounds, so it's not that it's heavy, but because there's sand in it, there's some variable resistance, which makes it harder to deal with. If you don't have a bag and you practice with something like a dumbbell, let's say, you've got a, a dumbbell and it's vertical, you do not need that much weight. So I would say start light, build your endurance. Once your work capacity is there, then step, start adding weight to it. Okay, reps of uh, sets of eight to 10, and you can work up to two to three rounds, all right? So we've done dead bug, bird dog, press out, I'm going to show you a TRX drill to really work on posterior chain of the lower body. We're going to be right back with that one. 